Dobber Den, boys, and <laughs> I don't even know if that's right. I googled it, and I, I think that's correct for a good day. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Hello and welcome back to Empire Total War, and uh, yeah, we took Bulgaria last week. Didn't really plan on taking Bulgaria last week, but it happened, and we now have it. So uh, yeah, and we're surrounded by the Ottomans and the Austrians who absolutely hate each other. So yeah, I'm, we're, we're kind of just going to leave that over there. I'll just just, just get, get rid of that. Right. And we also managed to take Florida, which we're probably going to have to deal with, because Florida's currently got some wild Spaniards roaming around and uh, stealing all the oranges, and we need to go and deal with them. So I'm not going to go immediately, because my army's still slightly in tatters after I very, very stupidly chucked everyone. Well, let's see. Well, actually, yeah, I chucked everyone, including all my horses, at a bunch of pikemen, which um, it was never going to end well. Never going to end well. And it didn't. Quite frankly, it didn't end well at all. We lost a shit ton of our horses. So we're going to have to start rebuilding our army from here, thankfully. Um, yeah, thankfully we actually have quite a few options for troops. We also... Native musketmen. Right, well, we're getting some of them. We'll be getting some of them. We also have some mounted tribal auxiliary. Decent. Decent. I didn't, I, I didn't actually think that the, the uh, Native Americans ventured this far over. Nevertheless, we uh, we can get them, and we probably will get them, and uh, actually start to uh, take control of bits of America. I might eventually start looking at taking New Orleans, because if I take Louisiana and Upper Louisiana from the French, then there's nothing over here to stop them, like to reinforce them. That's the only two places they have. Um, we will do that at some point, but first we need to focus on the Spaniards and getting rid of those pesky people first. Um, the one downside of if we do start taking Louisiana is the French here will start attacking us over in, in Europe, which, I mean, I'll probably have to start reinforcing troops around London and Madrid just to make sure that they don't come across and take one of those places. But we'll probably do a bit of like a dual pronged attack, take Louisiana at the same time as trying to take some of the, uh, the French controlled areas, possibly Paris, just immediately go straight for Paris. Um, but yeah, we're just going to probably end turn, given that I've got four coins and nothing to do, so I'll catch you back once we've actually got something worth talking about. These bloody Italians and setting things on fire, they just, they can't help themselves. Literally every building in Italy is just constantly on fire because of these prats. Yes, yes, yes. Who blocked our trade route? Where did Spain get a ship from? Have they sent a ship all the way from... The <laughs> Have they sent a ship all the way from the Caribbean just to blockade that trade route? Because, I mean, we can't build ships over here. They've only got M Milan, which is completely landlocked, so they can't build a ship there. So they've had to bring it across from the Caribbean, all for the purpose of blockading that trade route, by those things. Although, they're probably still at war with Portugal. <laughs> so, um, yeah, sending one ship's probably not the... Uh, the best use to be on. Actually, you know what that ship is. That's the ship that was stuck in the Caribbean. They uh, stuck in Cuba a couple of weeks ago that we blockaded in. Because I let it go and it disappeared somewhere and that's where it's popped up. Um, come back to bite me in the arse. Let's try and get ourselves a, a trade agreement with the Knights of St. John. Good, right, that's that done. Um, I'm thinking I might start throwing my weight around a little bit. Given that we are now... What, what are you on about? Afghanistan? Why, why are you being so aggressive about the whole situation? I didn't call you a fool. I, all I want is a simple trade agreement and you just go, nah, nah. Who do you think we are? Morons? What kind of people do you think just agree to trade agreements? You're weak and meagre. Just fucking take the trade agreement, you twat. Right, fuck it, I don't even want your money. You've got no money anyway. As for these guys, which is it? Right. Replenish the army. We shall recruit ourselves a new general. Big Blair Faraday. Right, Blair, you better make good good use. Better fill the boots of uh, Craig Wycliffe that sadly died because of my idiocy last week. You better do better do his name well. Not that you're the same name, but you better fill his boots. Otherwise, I'll 
I don't know what I'll do. I'll probably do the same thing I did to him and charge you a bunch of pikemen and hope you die. The Greeks have left Athens undefended again. Continue recruiting people over here next to the Spartan sheep and eventually we'll try and take them on. If they keep disappearing up this direction then they've only got town guard. I mean they do have a lot of town guard but if we have proper soldiers then uh, it could be an easy battle. Are you, are you taking the piss? Are you actually taking the piss? The United States want three technologies and they're willing to give us five turns of military access in, turn, in return for it. No. Just absolutely not. That is not ever an acceptable trade. What technologies do you have? Right, okay, you know what? Yeah, give us general staff. See, they never agree. Oh, okay. He did agree. He did agree. Oh well, we just gained ourselves the technology. I was just so expecting him not to agree. When he did, it took me by surprise. Right, they're going to give us a thousand... Nah, I'm alright. Now the Genuines are plundering our trade routes. kind of want to go and deal with the Genuines and just take them out. End them. But at the same time, they've got like an absolutely massive army sitting up in Genoa, so... If I was to go and try and take them out, I'd need to like build two full-sized armies to go and take them on. Which is a possibility, but at the same time, I'm not really wanting to do that. It'd be nice if they actually came and attacked us, but they're, they're just sitting there in Genoa doing absolutely nothing. If they were to send one of their armies down and attack us, and we were to defeat it, then it would possibly open the door for us to go up and take, a, take Genoa properly. But as it stands, there's not much point. So he's obviously learnt everything he's, he needs to, and he's off. Thank you, Portugal. Thank you. you. That was that was very helpful. Just get rid of that Spanish ship that had been plundering our trade route for no fucking purpose. Oh yeah, we're at war with Sweden, aren't we? Completely forgot. They declared war on us and have done absolutely nothing, and now they're plundering our trade route. Thanks for that. Like, they declare war on us, and then they just never bother actually coming over and trying to take us on. So I have no idea what they're doing. Right, so we've now actually repaired all this stuff in Italy. So if we get rid of all these people, we should fix our public order some. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Almost made a major mistake and forgot to take my drummers with me. Right, and take them on. Kill them all. They've cleared off. They're still in our country, apparently, but they're just on the edge of uh, Venice for some reason. Also, Venice has a massive army. This north of Italy is really annoying me because they're all the armies, like all the places up here, they only have like one place, like Venice just has Venice and Genoa just have the one region in, of Genoa. And instead of like, they obviously don't care about going and trying to take on everybody around them, so they just sit there amassing ridiculous sized armies and doing nothing. So like Genoa, uh, Venice, full sized army, another half sized army, a full sized fleet. And then the the Genoans are the same. They've got a, like what appears to be a full sized fleet here, another pretty sizable fleet, um, and then inside Genoa they've they've actually got two full sized armies as well. So it's like they just seem to do nothing but just build up an absolute ton of troops for no apparent reason because they never actually use them. It's just there to defend themselves. Do we have a general down here? No. Let's recruit one. Kirk Morton. Big Kirk Morton. I'm kind of worried about this fleet over here because if they really want it, they could just sail on down to Cuba and take Havana back because there's nobody there. Like, we have like two like two sets of, yeah, two units and that's it. So they could just go and take it back really easily if they really wanted to, but they, they don't seem to be that bothered about it. Right, get ourselves some Native Americans, see how they do. The Greeks have actually disappeared now. They've taken their massive army on a ship and they've gone away. So, right, okay. Army at the ready, and uh, if you could just murder all of them, it's good, right? Some of them survived, so we'll just uh, attack them as well. Deed! None of them left. Back into Rome, right. What the fuck did Donald Hurst do? You've been in there for ages, mate. Why? 
Why are you just being successful now? Can we assassinate somebody? Could try. Can we? Okay. Uh, fuck it. Assassinate this boy. Look at him. His mustache. God damn it. You're shit. I'm pretty sure a random lad called Donald Hurst would probably stick out like a sore thumb in the middle of Alge Algeria. I'm not really 100% sold on the fact that he's in there completely undetected. Yeah, I wonder where they're going. This Greek fleet has just disappeared and it's taken a massive Greek army with it. I don't know where they're off to. Who are they war with? The Muggle. Yeah, they're coming to attack us. They're definitely coming to attack us. I can sense it. I can fucking sense it. They're on their way. Oh well. If they, uh, if they, as much as look at us the wrong way, I'm just going to send everybody we've got straight into Athens and try and take it. So, well, uh, we'll wait and see. But I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure they're going to try and uh, take us on. Right, let's improve the uh, tobacco industry in Cuba a little bit. Well, I think once I've next turn, once I've recruited the next two units, once we've got our uh, or Native Americans, we'll then send them over and try and take out these guys. And then... How many ships do we have? We have a pretty sizable fleet. We've got three admirals. I mean, we don't really need three admirals, but we've got them. Um, so we could go and try and take out this... We could send the army into the port, which will push the ships out of the port and then take them on and uh, hopefully kill them all. And that would get rid of that army as well. I kind of want to go and take something in India. I might do that. I might build up a fleet. Actually, I might just take my fleet. I say fleet, it's like two ships. I might just take some ships from like from somewhere in Europe and just head over that direction. Why would you attack us? I mean, I know there's only 668 of us, but there's only 300 of you. Right, fuck it. We'll just auto-resolve that and murder them all. Ah, you clear off. That, that just screamed of desperateness. Right, where did that Greek fleet go? Over this way. Where are you going? You're not at war with anybody, unless they're going off to attack the Muggle, like the Muggles in India, which, I mean... Maybe they are. Is that the only way they can get there by ship? Is Yeah. So, yeah, they, they're if they want to go and attack the Muggles, which I think are their only enemies at this moment in time, they've got to go all the way through... Like, they've got to go all the way through the Med out here, down, and then sail like a turn, and turn up like down here, and then come up all the way up here and attack them. Despite the fact that, in reality, there's only like that distance between them, just there all the way across. Which, I mean, I say just. It's just it's just the Middle East in between them, but you know, it's, it's it seems like a very long way to get around to go and uh, attack somebody that's only about four territories away, but anyway. I'm not sure if it's too too soon, but I kind of want to go to war with them. But at the same time, I don't want to go at war and then lose, and then... See, we have this army, right? Which I think may, it'd be like 50-50, may be able to take Athens. If If we could, that would take out the Greeks, that would end the Greeks. Um... If we lost, however, we're now back at war with Greece. This army will come, like, or are, are coming back. This is why I want to do it now, is before this army gets there. Um, and then this ship over here, full of Greek soldiers, will now be at war with us and could just sail up here and take us. Well, I say take us. They would then attack us. They could also sail over here and take, like, attack something over here. Um, So, I'm not sure whether to just risk it now, or to build up an army a bit bigger. Screw it, I'm gonna just recruit like a couple of generals, that gives us extra units effectively, just from nowhere. Right, screw it, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Declare war. They do, <laughs> they do have some pretty hefty allies. This is, this is either going to be absolutely amazing or absolutely awful. It's probably going to go badly, to be honest. Um, they're already at war with, with Greece. Fuck it. <laughs> so the Ottoman Empire broke their alliance with Greece because they went wanting to go to war with us. But we have now lost our trade agreement with Russia. I'm guessing 
Yeah, Russia joined them. So did Genoa, which, I mean, Genoa's already at war uh, with us. But now we're at war with Russia, which is a bit of an issue. It's a bit of an issue, um, but it's not the biggest issue in the world. Because Russia, although they're big, there's a couple of places in between us and them. I mean, they could send troops all the way along the top of Norway. Oh, we'll deal with that ship when it arrives. And we win. We win, right. So we lost 170 people, but we killed 1,710. Um, and we've taken Greece, and now Greece is gone. We've destroyed Greece. So we've basically, what's happened is we've declared war on Russia. That's basically the BL and, BL and end of what's just happened, and we've gained ourselves the territory of Athens, which... Pretty decent. Pretty decent going, I would say. Something I completely forgot about before was to like actually get everything, like to actually do research. So uh, we've now got all of our places apart from Bucharest because it's completely burnt to the ground. Although we could repair it. Right, we'll repair that. Um, yeah, I'd been forgetting to do research, but now we're we're researching like literally everything there is to research. So yeah, and uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, um, right, we'll exempt you from tax for the time being. Hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> sort yourselves out. Just going to take on these guys, kill them all. Good stuff. Right. Can you? No, you can't. I was going to say, could you make it over to there? But that'll have to be another turn. Um. Right. Okay. What I'll do is I'll bring my fleet from up here, and we'll head down to Morocco, and then we'll build up an army in Morocco and send them down here. And then we'll head over to the, uh, over to India. Yeah, this little island off the bottom of India. I think if we go and take that, because it's currently held by rebels, so we can just walk in and take it without anybody caring. Um, there's also this place up here. Um, so yeah, we could start taking some stuff in India and uh, see if we can expand. Russian fleets made its way over to, God damn it! Our main trading port as well. Oh my god, we only made 500 coins that turn because of the Russians. Because they blockaded this port, we've lost all of our trade income again. All of it's gone. Right, let's just try and, let's try and patch some things up with Russia here. There we go. Right. It cost us some technology, but we've uh, sorted out our differences with, with Russia. Right, can we finish these guys off once and for all? Good. Finally killed them all. Right, back into Nipples and just hopefully we can prevent any more uprisings. They're not even being taxed, but they're just constantly just rebelling all the time. Right, I might move my cabinet about. Um, boot him out. Well, we've done some booting. Hopefully that fixes some of our clamour for reform, possibly. I don't know if that works or not. Hopefully it does. Otherwise I've just gone and fired a load of people for absolutely no reason. Right. Get our army from here. Kick them out of there. And attack them with our ships. Good, we killed them all. Right. And now our entire army is on board this ship, which we can then send over this direction. It's going to take us a couple of turns, but we'll get to uh, Dominican Republic and then hopefully take them out. Out! Take them out! <laughs> I really should build more fleets, like I should build more ships, but I just never see the point. Like, you can't take cities with ships, it just doesn't work, so like, I never build them, but it's for situations like that when Russia decide that they're just going to take over that port. I should actually, what I should do is I should build a massive fleet and just put it in this port. If this port is our main port for all of our trade, like how we make 10,000, nearly 11,000 coins per turn from that one port. If we, uh, if we put a massive full fleet in that port, then nothing can come and blockade it. Well, something could come and blockade it, but we would then just be able to attack them back immediately and, uh, hopefully destroy all of them, so that's possibly something I might do. Right, I think we'll do another turn or so, and then hopefully try and take the Dominican Republic, which I'm hoping taking the Domin Dominican Republic will be enough to kill Spain. If it is, then um, Milan, we can take Milan 
like really easily. Um, and the rest of the Caribbean, we can just mop all that up as well, which will give us even more money because we'll be making loads of trade from uh, all of the farms and stuff that are over there, all the tobacco industry and drug industry. And then we can set our focus on some other big country, probably France, possibly the United States. But I'm thinking France first and then the United States because France is closer to home, so it's easier. Right, let's head over here. Blockade that port. And walk over. And murder them all! Good, right. Murdering has been completed and... Okay, that's not destroyed Spain just yet. Well, I think I'm probably going to end the video, to be honest, because I don't think there's much else to do right now. We've uh, we've declared peace with the Russians, so it's no longer an issue. I'm going to start building. I think I'll build my ships here, because this is my main... Portsmouth is, like, the main ship-building port. Um, but we'll build a couple... Actually, could we build a trading ship? Let's build a trading ship. And uh, we'll send it over somewhere and see if we can do some trading. Um, but yeah, we'll build up a massive fleet and we'll just position it here in Waterford just to completely secure ourselves from any potential attacks that might happen that could stop us from making any money. Um, but yeah, I think that's probably going to end the video because everything in Europe is pretty much settled down. We've taken ourselves Athens, which is public order. Still absolutely atrocious. Anyway, we'll leave that for now. Um, yeah, we've taken ourselves up. Uh, just uh, compose myself and actually speak English words. That'd be nice. Um, yeah, we've taken ourselves Athens, and we've also managed to continue holding Bulgaria. Nobody's attacked us yet, which is kind of surprising, really. Everything's back to uh, being on fire again. I think there was a bunch of rebels running around in Bulgaria, and I didn't even notice. So they went around literally setting everything on fire again, but sort that issue out. But anyway, uh, yeah, we've still managed to hold on to Bulgaria. Um, North Italy is still an issue. Spain and Genoa. I have no idea how we're going to deal with Genoa. Absolutely no idea, given that they've got, like, probably in the region of about 4,000 to, to maybe even 5,000 troops currently positioned in and around Genoa. So, yeah, I'm not sure how we're going to ever manage to take that, but we'll see what happens. Um, Spain's fine. I think public orders now, well, could be better, but it's not horrendous. Um, I think we'll start recruiting down in uh, Morocco for our eventual attempt to take some places in India. And over in the Caribbean, we've secured ourselves Florida. We've got rid of all the Spanish that are there. We've now got ourselves Dominican Republic as well. But yeah, that's probably going to wrap it up. So if you've enjoyed this video, then give it a big thumbs up. And uh, subscribe as well if you're new and you want to keep up to date and watch more of my stuff upload. Um, try to upload three times a week if I'm if I'm successful. At least twice. I upload, my, I upload FIFA career mode every Monday. I upload this every Tuesday and then something random on a Friday. So... Yeah, if you want to hit that subscribe button and uh, watch my stuff, then that'd be great. And yeah, until next time, see you later.